Hi. It's really freaking hot in here. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's hot. I'm not a summer person. Uh, I hate summer. I'm definitely like a fall and winter person. So, it's cause the only time I'm cranky is, truly cranky is when I'm hot. That's it. I don't get cranky when I'm tired or hungry that much, like more than the normal person. I am very bitchy if it's hot. I, I can't, I can't be hot. I don't like to sweat. <laughs> uh, it, you know, I don't like to sweat, especially if I have makeup on, it's gross. Uh, and I just don't like to be hot. It just, ugh. ugh. I'm not a, I'm not a summer person, but anyways, that's not why you're here. <laughs> Um, so today I thought I would do kind of like a fun get ready with me with all of my products that I've been using in or that I'm trying to use up for project pans. Some of them aren't in project pans, but I don't have like that category in a project pan. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you my routine. I'm going to start with my, um, sunscreen. It's really important. Uh, I recently implemented this into my routine. I don't normally put on a sunscreen, which I know is really bad for you. Um, this isn't my favorite one. Um, it's nice for now, um, but I know that it kind of breaks me out a little bit. Not like huge breakouts <laughs> like these guys. Um, and those are because, you know, the time of the month is coming up real soon. Um, but I... Um, We'll get these like little bitty bumps, um, like in certain areas in my T-zone, like this area right here, these areas right here, I'll get some in this area right here. Um, it's kind of irritating, but it's not nothing. Like it's, it's not anything that I can't just deal with and like, I don't know. It's not like a huge deal. Um, I would like to get rid of it and use it up. It's in one of my projects. So yeah, sunscreen, please. Please use it. The next thing uh, that I've been using a lot lately is this new um, e.l.f. Moisture Lock Primer. Um, I really like it so far. Um, I was loving, um, I loved, sorry, I loved using the, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, I'm blanking. Uh... I'm a hot mess and I don't have memory, y'all. Uh, I can't. Soap and Glory is the brand. And it's like one heck of a, one heck of a, well, oh my gosh, one heck of a blot primer. That's kind of what this feels like to me. Um, it keeps me, I mean, it's very hydrating, but it still has like a um, thicker consistency where it'll, like once you have it applied and you let it kind of dry down it's kind of tacky but it still keeps your skin looking really matte um but it's still hydrating i don't know if that makes any sense it's kind of an oxymoron but that primer was my favorite because i have dry uh more like dehydrated skin like my skin doesn't have a lot of moisture in it no matter how much water i drink um but it can get oily it's more normal it can get oily in the summertime um and so that way it, I'm still having some sort of like water hydration in it, um, but it'll keep my oils at bay. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it makes sense in my head, so. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to take my number seven Beautifully Matte foundation mixed with my Light Illusion um, Flower Beauty foundation. Ugh, guys, guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. This happens all the time. I don't understand it. Genuinely, I don't. So I thought I would do a get ready with me today because, um, I don't know. I just wanted to do like a chill video. Um, I don't have any updates to film for any project pans. I know this looks crazy, but I promise like I'm very tan and I make this, make this shade work. <laughs> um, 
yeah, I don't have any updates to film for anything. So, and I just felt like putting on makeup and hanging out and, uh, and yeah. Oh my gosh, I've been watching so much um, of Bailey Sarian on here on YouTube. She's hilarious and she also does bomb makeup. I like eye makeup looks. Um, she does, um, what is it? M Murder Mystery Makeup Mondays or something like that. <laughs> I'm so into true crime, it's not even funny. Um, but she does those and she is hilarious. She's so funny. I love the podcast, My Favorite Murder. Um, I've been listening to them essentially since they started the podcast because of my husband. Um, he's the one that introduced me, but <laughs> she's just so funny, but not like about the murders or anything. She just, the way she talks about it and the way she says suspicious, it cracks me up every single time. I promise. I look crazy on camera right now, but I promise it looks, it looks normal. I don't know. <laughs> it looks normal, I promise. But anyway, yeah. So she's hilarious and I've been loving her content lately. I like found her channel the other day and I just binged watched her. And then yesterday I was watching it with my husband and he just was watching it with me and like asking questions about like the makeup looks that she was doing and it was hilarious. <laughs> he like loved it. <laughs> Alright, um, so I kind of just let my foundation kind of dry down a little bit and kind of set before I do my concealer, which sounds really weird, but oh my god, it's so hot. It's so hot. She says while she drinks hot coffee. It's fine. You hear a noise back there, it's my kitten. She is like beside me 24-7, 365. And she's still tiny, so she still has that like kitten energy, I like to call it. So I use my Flower Light Illusion Concealer in this shade Light. Um, it's really orangey, so I like to put that like on my immediate under eye and then I'll take the 16 hour camo concealer in medium sand and kind of use this as like a highlight shade. This one's a little lighter um, than that other one, so they both kind of work together um, and make my perfect shade of concealer. So I'll just take that and blend. And I'm the weirdo that like blends to high heavens out my foundation with a sponge. I don't really like this sponge anymore. This is the Morphe sponge and I liked it at first. Um, it's just annoying. Like I have to, like I'm weird about my sponges and I have to wash them um, in between uses. Like when I go to wet it, I'll wash it um, just to get like excess um, product off and to make sure it's nice and clean um, It's just something that I like do for my face because it's the only thing I use to apply my base products that are like going onto my skin So I figured like that to me like I need to make sure it's Clean every time I use it so I don't like introduce any bacteria or anything like that to my skin so I wash it but it gets like hard in the center like it's weird it turns into like a rock every time I use it and it drives me insane I like have to kind of work some of that I guess trapped water or I don't know what's in there I don't know what's going on but this sponge drives me nuts so I think this one's gonna be going soon I've used it for a really long time I've had this for like almost a year maybe maybe more and I'm not sunburnt. This is just like my skin. Like I'm just naturally a very red tan person. Like it looks like a sunburn, but I swear on my life, it's literally just my skin. Everyone always asks me, even if I'm not tan, like even if I'm like at my palest, cause I have like some redness on my arms. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so sunburnt. And I'm like, 
No. No. I haven't left my house in five days. This is just my arms. It's so annoying. I used to work at a dermatologist and they would tell me all the time if I had my arm showing. They're like, oh my god, you're so slimmer. Why didn't you wear sunscreen? It's because they're not sunburnt. They're just not. <laughs> Um, okay, and then I have been doing this recently. Um, I'm trying to get rid of my lipsticks. Um, and I have these like liquid lipsticks. Oh, there she is. I have these liquid lipsticks that I'm trying to get rid of. And this one's my oldest one that I've, this is like the first ever liquid lipstick I've ever owned. And it's the Ofra um, liquid lipstick in Laguna Beach. Um, it's literally like their oldest, like when they first started, like their packaging, like that's how old this thing is. But I've been using this, um, on my cheeks as a, um, blush. Yeah, like a cream blush, I guess. Ofra has, like their liquid lipsticks don't dry down, um, to like a full-blown crazy matte. Um, they're kind of moosier. She's so funny. They don't dry, <laughs> they don't dry down into like a hard mat. So that's what makes them so good to use as a cream blush. Um, and I've been able to kind of go through this lipstick and get some good use out of it. It ha makes a pretty blush color once it's blended and <laughs> she's cracking me up. Um, and I've been just going through this blood or this uh, liquid lipstick. Um, I already had some like pan or some, you know, it's very, it was already see-through when I started using it as a blush. Um, but now it's like really, you can really, it's hard to get like product out. Like that's how um, much I've used of it. Um, so yeah. I'll hopefully I'll be able to be done with that by the end of this year. We'll see. Um, I like, you know, using products in different ways just to make them work. Like, I don't need to put on a cream blush because I wear powder blush anyways. But since I've been so tan um, and my face likes to eat blush, um, I figured that this would be a nice way to use up that liquid lip. Cause I'm not really into liquid lipsticks. They're not my thing anymore. And I have three, including that one. So, you know, helped me get rid of them. <laughs> I'm all for it. And then I kind of just take this and blend this blush. You see how it kind of makes my face look a little bit more natch, super natural. Um, yeah. It just kind of adds some natural color back into my cheeks so it doesn't all look like a pale blank canvas and I know I'm crazy and I keep going back in with this towel to wipe off my foundation lid foundation lips drive me nuts they're gross they're nasty I can't stand it it's so nasty I can't I'm just like oh wipe off your lips please all right now I'm going to take my <laughs> weird Franken powder with my e.l.f. blush brush. I've had this thing for so long. It's dirty right now because dirty brushes work so much better than clean brushes. Don't at me. It's it's a fact. I mean, for me, it's a fact. They work better. Sorry, not sorry. But I just take this since it's so pale, like, that's, that's yeah, it's very pale. So I just take this tap off all of the excess and then I just set my like immediate under eye and like down my nose it like works as a setting powder and like a highlight shade to kind of give my face some extra dimension also it's technically a powder foundation so it adds just a smidgen more coverage under my under eye, which I have mom eye bags. I need all the help I can get. And then I'll kinda tap the excess around my face, on my nose, chin. 
anywhere I kind of need that extra coverage. I'm weird. Um, okay, and then um, I'll take my Milani Conceal and Perfect Powder and Natural Light. Um, oh my gosh, I've like given this powder a run for its money. This is actually a really good powder. Like, I will definitely repurchase this. Um, Milani is such a good cruelty free brand. It's not even funny. I'm so impressed. After I finish some blushes, I want to try their baked blushes. Ugh. I just feel like they're like a nice like luxury feeling luxury type brand and I'm like I'm one of those people that doesn't give two shits about packaging like <laughs> as long as it's functional and it doesn't break like that stupid uh butter blush or butter bronzer from physicians formula I don't care what the packaging looks like. I'm not a packaging person. I genuinely could not care what it looks like. As long as it's functional, I'm probably like the 1% of people that are like that. Um, but yeah, so like for me, Milani has like okay packaging, but it's not the packaging that I love. It's their products. Their products feel so luxe and luxurious and they're so like they're not the ch they're not like a wet and wild but they're still so cheap compared to like some of the brands um at the drugstore and they're so like widely oh my god i just hit pan you you're not going to be able to see it but <laughs> there oh maybe you can yeah i literally just hit pan on this and i've only had it for like two months maybe if that less than two months I use a lot of powder, <sighs> clearly, clearly. All right, so I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Um, bronzer with my Real Techniques blush brush. I don't use blush brushes, apparently. I'm gonna bronze up the face. I'm not being very talkative about anything else in this get ready with me, I apologize. I usually get ready with like a podcast or another YouTube video that's like just kind of talking. I listen to a lot of like history type things or true crime. Those are like my two favorite genres of literally anything. Um, I literally can watch any historical or true crime documentary and just be totally happy with my life. Um, I don't actually watch a lot of television. My husband does and he kind of takes over the TV, but he loves all of the sports, all of them. He doesn't discriminate. He loves soccer and he loves like football and baseball, like obviously, but he loves all sports. He'll watch like tennis and golf and cricket and like literally anything. He's just such a sports fanatic, like any team, any country. He does not discriminate that man. He loves sports so much. It's insane. I'm already sweating. I like to bronze in my cheeks and then since I have like a weird, almost like widow's peak, I like to bronze up here just to kind of keep my forehead from looking so wide. I don't know if that makes any sense. And then, since I've been tanning a lot lately and this <laughs> shade doesn't really match my body. I know it doesn't look like that on camera. Um, just because my chest gets a lot of sunscreen. Like all of the sunscreen. Um, I'll just take this like on my jaw and then down my neck. A little bit on my decolletage. It's all good. <laughs> She's so funny, she's such a weird cat. She loves water. Anytime my husband and I are taking a shower, we have one of those like glass shower, like stand up shower, whatever things, like individual glass, I don't know what I said, the glass shower. Um, and she'll sit there and just watch you. Just sit there with her head cocked and just watch you take a shower. <laughs> she loves watching the water like go down the the glass and she'll like try to catch it she's so funny and uh since my 
I like to kind of put my blush in the middle of my highlight and bronzer to kind of make everything mesh very well. Um, I'll go ahead and do my highlighter and then my blush just to make it more blended. Um, but I'm gonna take my Morphe M510 brush Yeah, I just highlight to kind of blend everything together. Um, that way the highlight doesn't look like a streak on my face and I can go in with blush because I use a lot of blush and I kind of use that as my blender between like highlight and bronzer and then I'll kind of put it on my forehead and my nose. Like I don't like to be minimal with my blush or my highlighter apparently. Now that I look like a disco ball, I know it looks really funny right now. That's where my blush comes in handy. So I'm gonna take my um, L'Oreal Brazen Bronze blush on a Luxie 504 large angled brush. Actually, I'll take it again on my like bronzer because this one's more of a bronzy color and I've been um, kind of blending two of these blushes together. And I kind of use this on the outsides of my cheeks again to kind of give it some more dimension but also to kind of really truly like warm things up because I feel like my bronzer shades really like more of like a contour shade it's a very like neutral to cool undertone okay and then i'll take my other blush with the actual the, the angle brush that i was talking about and this one is like a franken blush that i threw together with a few other blushes for my collection I'm adding this later in my cruelty free project pan so y'all look out for that. Probably look crazy AF right now but I swear, I swear I blend it out everything's fine. I just take my um, brush with the excess, um, powder brush with excess powder on it and I'll kind of just run this around this area. It helps a lot with my face not making it look so um, like doesn't take everything so far down and it kind of just blends out the bottom edges. Take it to my forehead. This is why I don't do my brows first because I can't. I don't know how people do that just kind of blend everything in so it doesn't have any harsh lines like down here and then it looks normal see it's not from back you can't I mean like with my eyes not done you can tell but like it just looks normal it just looks like oh she has some she's got some bronzer on she's got some blush on oh my gosh okay coffee break so what about you guys? Are y'all into true crime? Are y'all into history stuff? If so, what do you listen to? What's your way of, of consuming this information? Do you like podcasts? Do you like YouTube videos? If so, link them down below. Um, I'm always up for finding new things. Um, let me know because like, I'm obsessed. It's, it's a thing. Okay. I'm going to do some readjusting here so I can get y'all a little closer for this eye look. Hang on. Okay, so this is as, like as close as you're going to get uh, to my face. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I always say that. It's MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. But, you know, who needs words? So I'm starting school soon and I'm super nervous about my filming schedule and how that's gonna go. 
I'm taking chemistry with a lab because your girl's crazy. Um, I'm also taking American history, like the second class, second semester type class. Um, I already took the first one like almost a, over a year ago. Um, and then I'm also taking elementary statistics. Um, I'm so, I was supposed to be doing nursing school, but I don't know about that anymore. Um, if you didn't know, I used to live, we used to live in West Texas, um, in like a really small town and, um, there, you know, the nursing school, everything was really close. We had my husband's family around to help with the kids. The kids were, um, in school, everything was like a lot cheaper. So I had no problem going into nursing school. It was seemed like something I was like, it's still something that I'm interested in. Um, but it was more feasible, I guess. It was more of a reasonable thing. Um, I'm not close with my family. Um, I don't know why I'm just like spilling all the beans about myself. I'm not close with my family. My parents, I don't talk to them. Um, my sister, like I don't have any um, of my siblings around me. Um, yeah, it's just me and my husband and my kids. Um, my ex-husband, their father, he lives overseas, he's in the military. So I don't have anyone around to help me with the kids. It's just me and my husband and that's it. And he works a high stress level job working for like an e-commerce company. Um, and he loves it and I love it for him because it's something that he finally feels like um, he can really move up with and really just kind of take it as his own. Like he's very proud of what he does and I don't want him to ever feel like he has to sacrifice his job for, um, for me to kind of just do, I don't like that sounds so like 1950s, but he finally, it's taken him so long to figure out what he wants to do. So I don't want to take that from him. So, um, when I was thinking about doing, he was at a different job. We moved here for his job. So when we were, um, in West Texas, um, it was like, okay, well his family's here. Um, I can, you know, get help if I have to stay late for a class or if, you know, eventually when I start my clinicals, um, by the way, I set my eyebrow and I'm going in with my bronzer to do my crease. But, you know, if I need help, um, you know, I'll get help and they can, you know, if I have to work late or do, you know, study or whatever, they can help out um, here and there with them. And my husband wasn't in as stressful of a job then. So he helped out a lot with them and it was fine. Like it was totally fine. But now that we live here with no family, um, all my neighbors and all my friends that I have here all have like crazy full-time jobs with their own kids. So it's like, I just feel like we're like kind of on an island of our own and it's scary sometimes, but I just told my husband cause he was like, why don't you want to do nursing anymore? And I was like, it's not that I don't want to do nursing anymore. It's that, you know, we live in a completely different city, different town. It's DFW. Like it's such a huge city. It's such a huge area. Um, we don't have family around and my kids already only have like one of their parents and I like, and they don't have other family around. Like, I'm not going to do that to them. I'm not going to take the last person they have, um, around them to be super busy. Cause I know if eventually when I do become a nurse, like aside from all of the studying and all of the clinicals and all the things I have to do to be away from my kids that I would have to start and be like working nights and then I'd sleep during the day or whatever, like working for a hospital. And I just don't want to do that to them. I don't want to do that to them. Um, <laughs> getting so deep right now. Um, I just don't want to do that to my kids. I just don't, I just don't feel like that's just, it's not worth it to me. Essentially. It's not worth it to me to take that away from my kids. So essentially I'm having to start from square one. Um, I don't know if I want to do teaching 
like maybe teaching high school or junior high, I'm taking my brow shade and I'm gonna use it as a base. I don't know if I wanna um, do teaching or I've thought about maybe accounting or something with business. Um, I don't know. I am a math and science person through and through. Um, I also love history and um, I'm not huge on the idea of teaching, but I don't know. I could make it work. That sounds so bad. Uh, but like, I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, I wouldn't mind. I don't, I don't, I don't know how teachers do it with like younger kids. This is not working right now. It's very like <laughs> moosey. Um, that's weird. It's already drying. But yeah, I can't, um, I couldn't teach like younger kids, like my kid's age. <laughs> like bless those teachers, bless them. Can't do it. I'd probably teach high school or junior high. Um, probably high school, maybe junior high. I don't know. That would be the age group that I feel like I could feasibly teach. Y'all look at, what is happening right now? It's like weird, it's like a weird layer of gunk. Yeah, there's no freaking way that I could teach elementary kids. You can't make me. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I, I do know that I would like to work some nine to five job that I don't have to be away from my kids as long and I don't have to um, exert so much of like my mental health um, that way when I'm with them that like I'm not not with them. I don't know if that makes any sense. Also, the smoky eye is getting crazy out of hand. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom right now. going to be starting school. And I just want my kids to have a, you know, have a good life. Be with their mom. Um, my kids deserve that. They deserve to have, you know, someone to take them to maybe do extracurricular activities or someone to come, you know, just be there and not just be away. So for me, I feel like nursing's kind of out of the picture and not something that I'm really passionate about doing anymore only because of my current situation. Maybe one day when they're like gone, I might revisit that scenario. Um, but for right now, um, I just don't, I just don't want to do that to them. It's not fair to them. Oh my God, y'all. I should have did my eyes first. I don't know what I was thinking. It's gonna be a messy smoky eye anyway. I don't know why I'm trying to perfect this. But yeah, that's where I'm standing right now when it comes to school. Um, so we'll see. I have, you know, a semester at least to think about what I really wanna do. Um, again, I'm really like a science nerd. And I like math, which is weird. I don't know why I'm like so into makeup, but whatevs. So maybe I'll figure out what I want to do. But for now, that's kind of where I'm standing with everything. And, um, yeah. Everyone keeps telling me, like, go to cosmetology school. And I'm like, no. I've already done so much college. There's no way I'm not graduating with any degree. Like, no. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to cosmetology school just because I love makeup and beautiful things <sighs> isn't this smoky eye so pretty <laughs> I'm weird y'all I'm weird but yeah 
that's where I'm at. Let me know, about, know down below if y'all went to college and what y'all graduated with and uh, all of that stuff or like what you do for a living. Like it'd be kind of fun to see what y'all what y'all do. I've also thought about social work, which is something I'm kind of passionate about because I'm definitely an eight on the Enneagram scale. I like to help people. So that's kind of why nursing came up uh, and why I feel like teaching would be okay. Um, I like to help. I just don't wanna have a weird funky schedule. So anyway. Anyways, let me fix the smoky eye real quick. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that's a lot better. It feels, it looks weird right now because of this like weird dip going on I have. But that can be easily fixed. Pro tip, always have concealer on the ready. It's like I'm trying so hard. I don't know what happened here. I don't know. I'm doing my best. Concealer man. It is a miracle worker. Okay, much better. <sighs> Anyways, so, you know, and all of that fun stuff where we just dove completely so deep into my life, it's not even funny. Um, how are you guys doing? How's everything going on in your life? Let me know down below. Um, I'm ready for summer to be over. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Uh, stay at home mom, again. Um, and it sucks because we live finally live in a neighborhood with other kids my kids age finally and most of them are like put into like all summer long camps which like i totally get it <laughs> after spending all summer long with my kids and they're just so bored and they're fighting and there's only so many times that's why i'm so tan because we have this awesome pool in our neighborhood that has sand around it and like a big splash pad and it's really shallow so they can go swimming. That is why I'm so tan because even with sunscreen on and reapplying, we spend almost every single day there, almost, because otherwise, y'all, they drive me absolutely bananas if they had the chance. All right, so I'm taking my Chella it's supposed to be like a eyebrow highlight, but I kind of use it as like an all-purpose nude, nude for me, um, like eyeliner almost, or like a base, like an eyeshadow base. Um, I like it. It's not super duper pigmented, but it's pigmented enough to where it makes a difference when I use it in certain areas, like if I need to cut a crease or use it to like underneath highlights um, it works really great but today we're gonna do something different also if you watch Courtney K she's one of my favorite like project painters here on YouTube just one of my favorite youtubers in general like I love watching her empties I love watching her purchases she's so good she said to get the best pigment on certain eyeshadows to scrape the top off i mean you can use up your eyeshadow in that way but scrape the top off and then go in and use it and i was like genius you're a genius there's no other way around this so i scrape the top off a little bit with my little tool i have here and then i'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush I don't know what to use. I'll probably just use you. Like a flat brush. Scoop that guy up. Oh my God, I love it. I'm not the originator of this look, I swear in my life. There's so many people that have been doing like lime green inner corners or like yellow inner corners. Um, but I will take the trend and roll with it. It's in my project pan along with this like deep brown shade and uh, any excuse to get to use it. 
I'm almost about to hit pan on this shade. It's like not even funny. I kind of like this brush for this. It's like an angled, like a buffer brush almost. It worked out really well, honestly. I'm sorry if I'm like not in focus while I'm doing this. I don't really do tutorials all that often. So yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. And then I'm gonna add um, just a little touch of a highlight on like the actual inner corners to kind of just give it some luminosity with my ice latte shade. This thing, I'll be so happy when this is finished. I've had this for years and it's almost done. Yeah, this Deja Vu like lime green shade that I have on right now, it's weird. It's not, it's not a matte, but it's not really like a shimmer or like even a satin. Like it has some shimmer in it, but it's so minimal that it's almost like a natural, like a natural matte. It's weird. I really like how this look turned out. I'm a fan. I've been loving pairing uh, lime green with brown. I don't know, I don't know why. Couldn't tell ya, couldn't tell ya. That's the look thus far. I like to use my fingers a lot to do eyeshadow looks. I feel like your fingers are like so underrated when it comes to using them like in makeup looks. I feel like they're such good um, packing on. They're so good for um, blending, taking off the excess. Fingers are just such a good all-purpose tool that you have for free. We love that. All right, I'm gonna go off camera real quick and do my eyebrows, mascara set, and then I'll come back for lips and then we'll finish off this look. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I put some eyeliner and some black eyeliner like all around and my mascara and I sprayed my face with some setting spray. Um, so now I'm gonna do my lippy. Um, I think I wanna be, I don't know if I want nude or if I want like, like, ooh, I kinda like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, does anyone else do this when they, when they don't know what lip to wear? They're like, actually, Kinda. Yeah, I kind of really like the bright lip. Um, let's get to it then. Okay, I still need to line my lips though. So I'm gonna take my NYX um, lip pencil and nectar and line my lips. And then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Craving Coral matte lip. So yeah, this is the final look. And my cat. <laughs> um, I hope y'all liked it. Um, just hanging out, doing some makeup, having some weird girl talk, I don't know, but yeah. Um, like this video if you liked and you got ready with me or whatever um comment down below um and tell me like what y'all want to see next and yeah um thank you so much for watching and until next time bye